We got breaking news in college basketball. Five-star recruit Cooper Flagg has committed to Duke on a Monday morning for us. He's the number one recruit in the class of 2024. Flagg picked the Blue Devils over the reigning national champs in UConn. Flagg is the third five-star recruit for Coach John Shire's class. By the way, his second year there at the helm. So things will get interesting for Flagg and Duke. But take a look at it. The number one prospect, as I mentioned there, for 2024 coming out of Florida there. The 2022 USA Basketball Athlete of the year not to mention that gold medal as well heading to Duke when it comes to flag all right I got Adam Fink Finkelstein here checking in I'm curious uh you can safe to say maybe the flag is planted at Duke your reaction to that news there when it comes to him heading to Duke yeah I mean obviously this is huge news for John Shire and Duke not only getting the number one prospect in the country but the best two-way player in the country someone who is uh ready to impact the game on both ends of the floor as soon as he gets to Duke and when you take a look at Duke's roster, this is a team that could be making wholesale changes after this season. So could be rebuilding isn't the right word, perhaps reloading, but this could be a team built around Cooper Flag next year on both ends of the floor. What does that class look like now, now knowing you have the number one prospect here? Of course, you mentioned there it's in the top ranks, but your thoughts on now with addition to him? Well, it's still a work in progress because they're targeting two other players who actually visited along with Cooper for their Midnight Madness type celebration just about two weeks ago. So you look at who they have right now, Con Canepel, Isaiah Evans, and Darren Harris, basically four guys who play very similar positions. Cooper's somewhat positionless. He can operate anywhere from a, a four to a three to even a point forward. But VJ Edgecombe is the top remaining target left on the board. He is uh, an athletic scoring guard who they really pitched along with Cooper on kind of filling in with a, a Zion and RJ Barrett type uh, Batman and Robin type duo, if you will. Uh, so he's certainly the, the biggest target left on the board. They're also in deep with Patrick, Patrick Nagumba, who is a seven foot center and one of the best available big men in the country. If they get those two players to commit, they will have uh, far and away the best class in the country, but they still have work to do uh, left in that class because as I said this is a scenario where they could be losing their entire starting five after this season he's 6'8 195 of course uh, I'm curious give me a pro comp when you see him kind of his style and play here you know the one that I've heard fairly consistently that has some merit is is Andre Karolenko with a more advanced offensive game I always hesitate to do the pro comps because you're, you're projecting quite a bit but the Karolenko one uh, has some merit because he was such an impactful two-way player. I think Cooper, as I said, is is really um, just uniquely qualified to impact the game on both ends of the floor. He's just as good of a defender as he is an offensive player, probably even better, and a prob probably best defending away from the ball with a shot-blocking ability. So someone who can really impact the game in all facets is headed to Duke next season. Adam, I'm curious, you just talked about the rankings of the class here and John Shire year two, you would think, you know, after the goat and Coach K will leave, maybe a little draw up, but, that, but that's not the problem here. Are we surprised that he's still able to recruit these high level players even without the goat there? No, because I think that transition year was really crucial. The year where Coach K was, was still technically the head coach of the team, but Shire was quarterbacking the recruiting efforts and he delivered uh, the number one class in the country that year and that really set the stage when you had not only Kyle Filipowski but Derek Lively um, and some of those other guys that came in Derek Whitehead among others that really set the stage to say okay there's not going to be any drop in terms of the Duke brand here on the recruiting trail and make no mistake about it they got more of a challenge from UConn than they were expecting in these Cooper flag sweepstakes about six months ago everybody thought it was Duke and nobody else for Cooper but UConn really came on strong after winning that national championship and, and made quite a good pitch here. But Duke um, sustained, regained the momentum on, on the official visit, pulled off Cooper flag, and has again solidified themselves as the premier brand in college basketball recruiting. Safe to say the Blue Devils waving the right flag here after this news. So, Cooper, I just had to do it. Adam Finkel, Steve, appreciate the time. Join us with that breaking news. Cooper flag heading to be a dookie there and take a look at it. The number one prospect in the class of 2024, 68195. Some comparisons there from Adam Combo, talking about AK, Andre Karolinko. I can see it there. He has a gold medal, but boy, look at the numbers. Just under 10 points a game, 10 rebounds, and just eh, right, a little short, about three blocks per game. But that is all heading to Duke there with John Shire in year two.